It's sort of about that recognition, symbolic recognition of quality, um, just leaving the material element aside. It's, it's really not um, very good for the profession, I think, not to be recognised in that way. It has an effect on the morale. It's really essential to have good conditions, good wages, uh, interesting and challenging career structures. Uh, I see very little of that in the government offer at the moment. Yeah, the sort of salary offers uh, are probably going to lead to, I'd say, a drain either back into industry of people who are in TAFE. Why would you choose to come into TAFE? Or a drain out into other states. And in either case, uh, the future for South Australian industry doesn't look good. It would encourage more people to leave South Australia. Like, I mean, we've already got a lot of young people leaving in other areas, um, like engineers and, and, and all, all sorts of people. But um, yeah, I guess it's sad for the state that we, we won't attract the quality teachers that other states will because people need enough money to live. It's pretty expensive to live these days. I think there's a grave risk that we're going to lose the good people and I've known of people that um, have looked interstate and overseas. I mean in Victoria the um, salaries are better, work conditions are, are better and, and people will move outside the state. We've got an ageing teaching population already. I think we need some incentives to bring new teachers into the field and also keep the good ones that we've got. I find it um, pretty difficult to accept the government's argument that we don't, we don't need parity with other states when I know that in fact their wages, they have parity with other states. So I, I just wonder how they look in the mirror and, and think it's okay for other, other public servants when it's not a condition of their own employment. So I, I find that really goes against the grain. It's, it's just not on. Um, I also wonder how they think we'll, we'll gain and retain young teachers when they can cross the border to Western Australia and get $15,000 more um, first year up. Why, why wouldn't a young person do it? Of course they will. So, you know, they've got to use some common sense if they want to, to get young, young people and retain them.